Hi everyone. Mary and Espresso Press Design. Thank you for joining me on this post Labor Day weekend, September 3rd, 2024. I hope you all had a great weekend in the U.S. I don't think I don't think that's a holiday anywhere else. So. Um, Yes, I hope you had a great weekend. Ours was beautiful and sunny. So today we're going to um, make a folio. I did this before. I didn't finish it. Um, it's a really cute, versatile, but um, I didn't do another prototype. I had a long weekend so we're just gonna wing it together because um, well I'll, I'll get into that when we get to the project but you'll be, need another 12 by 12 and that is number 17 I think so first let me get my um, thank yous and products out of the way Janita, Paula, Sharon, Bree, Natalie, love that name, Natalie, Joanna, Colleen, Lisa, Ann, and Karen. Thank you very much. And I believe the other one is Barbara. Yeah, from Shopify. Thank you. And thank you for your kind comments and... Uh, thank you for watching my channel. So this week's paper, I didn't do a new paper either. This is was in the last video. What's new is I added a new category, Whimsical, and these are the first two. So I didn't even do my usual workload. I did, however, delete a lot of old products. And hopefully getting getting the um, product load down is going to help. So we'll need our 12 by 12. We're just going to wing this together. And I would choose non-directional, definitely non-directional. Because part of the reason I'm doing this is it's a simple folio, but both creators used very directional paper and they kept flipping it so much to get it the way they wanted I got totally lost so that's why I'm su suggesting very non-directional and um, then it should be pretty easy so our first um, First score is a little unusual. We're going to score the halfway mark, the horizontal mark first. And that's it, six inches, perfectly in half. And then our next score is going to be at four inches. and eight and a half inches. So this is a little different. Usually we would score that at eight. So things are not equal. <laughs> and we're gonna fold and burnish because we're gonna make a cut. Make sure I get that right. So I'm putting this back on my four inch side. What did I do wrong already? I went like this. This is my four inch side. 
So we are going to cut from here to here, our four inch side along the horizontal six inch. So let me get this out of the way. So I just heard a noise with that hem. It's very strange because our daughter came home for the weekend and now the house is all quiet again. So I'm cutting down the six inch mark. the four. Okay, I'm flipping back to the four and folding. Our fold is going to be on the top. And since this is non-directional, we should be able to um, do this without having to flip so much. So there we go our fold and our cut and then we're going to take the right side fold it back make sure the top and bottom are even fold it twice make sure everything's even flip it over and then we're going to do the same on the left side. Fold it once. Fold it twice. And then make sure everything's nice and square. Which it looks that way. Okay. So now we're going to glue our pocket. So we're going to glue, there's our, remember we were like this. So there we are. There's our center. Let me fold this back in. So we are going to glue along the fold and along the top and that's our pocket now if you want which I'm going to do is put a notch in there probably about three quarters within that paper border there. Okay, there we go. And if I screwed that up, which it, did I screw that up? Yes, I did. Because we, I want my fold on the, um, I want my fold on the top keep my fold on the top so I didn't confuse anyone <laughs> but you know what I could just clip that on both sides and it wouldn't matter because it's in the center so that's what I'm gonna do except now it's on the bottom but that's fine still looks pretty so I'm going to glue along the fold and across the bottom and then we'll have our pocket. And what is really nice about this, I'm going to include both their links because just the way they both decorated it so differently. Wait. Yeah, there's the bottom. 
I'm going to go this way. So what we did for Labor Day weekend was drive for 12 hours. And then the one, what evening was it? trying to think Sunday evening yeah because we couldn't pick her up until Saturday so Sunday evening we had a fire roasted hot dogs uh, what else s'mores the whole nine yards the whole traditional nine yards, <laughs> except no one wanted to. Um, it was one of those, let's not spend a lot of time cooking. More time just relaxing. So that's what we did. And I hope, I think I did something very similar for my journal book. But the thing I don't remember is, um, the thing I don't remember is, whether I had this in the middle, this pocket. But it is so versatile. I mean, you could you could make this another pocket, make a triangle, make it a folder. Um, same here. So once you have this, and it's just a nice little book, nice size, four and a half by six and you know what let me do that again yeah I, I just realized I could you could go um, I think that will fit a photo perfectly which is four by six but I do have a card here and that can't put that well there we go we just made it <laughs> if you do put a tab be careful because you have a fold there but just just a beautiful little folio and Theirs was so special because they used all the cut aparts, all the little ephemera, and each of their books was so different. I'm going to include the links. So, but very versatile, very nice size, not as thin. Yeah, there's another half inch there than what would you would normally do with this type of thing so that's what makes it a little different and I'm going to quickly get a photo just for my own sake okay yes yes it's very similar but this one is slimmer so I thought they were similar and then for a minute they were worried I had already done this but I did it yeah that fits a photo perfectly let's try the pocket well no because I glued it if I had taped it that would fit perfectly. Yeah. 
tape the top and the bottom. You might have to trim a hair off your photo, but that's a nice little travel book size. You can put another flip on there. All kinds of things you can do. And let me just see the possibilities here. Yeah, that would fit nicely. Um, I might put it in the center, actually, and make it its own page. But you certainly could do this back as a pocket. That would be a nice little interactive page that would add to your layout if you didn't want to just tuck it in. That would be nice. So, okay, I didn't even get to my topic. We're only at 17. So I'll, I'll tell you briefly, I did make that black one and I was going to cover it with my vintage movie star, vintage movie star book that I have yet to deconstruct. So one thing I did do this weekend was clean out a bunch of stuff. And this, that was how I found it and remembered, oh, I should do that because that, that is, I remember both projects clearly from them and they were quite beautiful. So I didn't want to put that aside and forget about it. But, okay, I did make a little thing. Is that the only little thing I made? I did start something else. There goes the chair. My husband upstairs. Um, maybe, no, I just started something else and I have to work it out. So I don't know if I'll have a second video this week. I was planning on it if I can figure this out. Oh, I did make that. That has glue on top, and that is glued with the purple glue because I'm testing it. The purple school glue. Wouldn't that be a kicker if that turns out to be a pretty good glue? <laughs> so the only other thing I wanted to know what everyone thinks about ASMR. I don't know if you've seen these videos but I'd like your opinion on them, and I'll give you mine here in a minute. Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. That's where you make visual or audio, give someone visual audio sensations that give them the chills, basically. And, I saw someone doing this that I would have never thought they would do something like that. So I was a little surprised. I don't particularly like them. I, I don't even particularly like the concept, but um, yeah, I was just a little surprised. And then when I brought it up to my husband, he said, do you know how many views those videos get? And I was not surprised. But um, I don't know. It's kind of like fetish porn. I don't know. That's what I'm going to say. And I hope that word, I hope that doesn't get banned. But I... I don't particularly like it, but let me know what you think about it because I'm curious.
And I think that'll wrap it up for this week, you guys. Um, another busy week ahead for me. And I hope not, but I was really, really planning on getting a long rest this week. So I hope it doesn't end up how I think it might, but anyway, I hope you found that project useful and I'll see you next time. That's number 17. Bye.